Welcome. I'm Halcyon and this is the Belief Buffet. A very serious, no-nonsense opportunity to share an idea or thoughts or inspiration from the week. Wait, did I say very serious? No, no, no. The motto is silly, sexy, sacred. Today, I want to talk about the Lion Tracker's Guide to Life, a book that has really knocked me in a beautiful way. The author is Boyd Vardy, and I heard him on a podcast with Tim Ferriss. And I've been talking about him so much and this, this, the lesson so much that I may have already shared this with you, in which case I need to hear it again, clearly, because I keep mentioning it. It keeps coming up, this, this, these tracker ideas. And the, the, as he's sharing in the book this, this job, this calling of a lion tracker, he shares that the, the, the human perceptions are so much more profound than we think and we realize. And it's a combination of like actual focus and paying attention to things like fragrances or visuals or sounds and and, and a deeper paying attention to intuition and what feels right and flow. And there's this master tracker gives us advice, or not advice, it's just, it's just this statement that just goes, oh, I heard it, it's like, gong, 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 gong. He says, I don't know where we're going, but I know how to get there. And that has, it, so much of my philosophies over the last you know, 10 years have been leading to that place of steering less, being less confident that you know where you're going and where you should be going, you're less confident of the destination. So instead, get right with who you are and who you're being so that the actions you take, wherever they go, they're in the right direction. That is tracking. And this book is all about, tracking is not just for tracking lines. Tracking is about tracking and getting in touch with your truth and your calling. And it's not something that you intellectually seek out and make happen. It's something that you tune into and then just take the next step, the next step, the next step. Which is, in essence, the same philosophy that I've been putting on stickers and putting all over my water bottles and, and sending out thousands of them over the last few years to people and distributing them at all sorts of events as gifts that says, be present, have integrity, align with love. And the instructions I give to people is when you are getting caught up in that desire to control the universe and influence what happens and manipulate reality and people so that you get what you want, instead, Keep in mind that you don't really know what you want. You don't know where you're going. So focus on how do you get there? How do you get there? Be present, have integrity, align with love. Or in other words or other traditions, tuning into the tracks, tuning into nature, tuning into intuition and flow and feeling and the Tao. And so that really hit me hard over the last few months as we were celebrating two years of these gratitude circles that we've been doing in Zoom and realizing that this destination, where we, the, the place that we got, that where there's these incredible connections and relationships and lifelong friendships and romances and rescuing of refugees and just family dynamics that are just so beautiful that we could not have plotted our way there that, that, that was never a destination that we could have arrived to through intellect or planning. It had to get there through being present, have integrity, aligning with love. And for me, two years ago, when I was called to just like, you know what, I'm going to just commit to doing these twice a day, it, there was no plan. There was no vision of what it was going to be. There was no destination. I just knew how to get there, even though I didn't know where we we're going. And so this book has been this cool, like, 
beautiful expression of this idea that has resonated so strongly in me and this affirmation through hearing the way he describes it and, and hearing this just brilliant lifelong practice of this and how it has, has manifested in his life and how he is teaching this in the world and then feeling like, like, yes, 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 yes. Thank you for, for this concrete, beautiful, poetic expression of a truth that I know. Somebody asked online, what's the difference between knowing and believing? And I said, the heart helps you know and the head helps you believe. And a lot of people disagree with me. They're like, ah, I, I think it's the opposite. But the way, I, I, to me, if I know something that is deep and profound, like I know deeply that to, to be present, have integrity, align with love. But what I believe is more what my limited human experience has shown me to be true so far. So I believe that uh, sunburn causes cancer. I'm not sure if I believe that anymore, but as an example, you know, but, do, but I know that healthy eating is a way to keep the body uh, as healthy as possible. One is a belief that could change as I learn different things. One is, is this like resonance. And to me, this be present, have integrity, align with love, or this let go of the destination, this, I don't know where we're going, but I know how to get there. That is something that, ooh, I now know that. Maybe I used to believe it, now I know it. So I hope that you find the courage and the encouragement to tune into your tracker. Because as you do that, it's activism. You inspire others. You create ripples and you change the world. So thank you for being you. I love you. What did you say? What? Say it again? What? Say it again? Huh? Speak up. Woo! If you think I'm sexy and you know it's Easter, come on, baby, let me know. Speaking of Easter, make sure you check out the classic viral video that my family did about the Easter beer hunt. If you are no longer excited about warm, hard-boiled eggs in the lawn, host a beer bottle hunt. Get little six pack holders for bottles, put fake grass in there, distribute the bottles in a yard, and then people use the six pack holders as their baskets. Super fun.